Yo, what is going on everybody? This is your boy Nim, aka Old School Wolverine. That is the Wolverine that I know and love. And right now, I'm going to be bringing you another Try Not To Laugh. It's Monday, so therefore it's Try Not To Laugh Day. So, back by popular demand, it's your boy Starks TV. He's doing it real big in 2016. Uh, by the time you look at this video, I believe he just hit 15,000 subscribers. Uh, I mean, he's been doing his thing, man. So big ups to him. Big shout outs to your boy, Stark. So uh, today we're going to be doing a video of his. Um, I, <laughs> I was told that I'm supposed to look at the awful rapper shoe deal roast. So I got his part one and part two in this video. So without much further ado, let's see if we can keep it together. Here we go. Yo, the shoe industry is a multi-billion dollar business made popular mostly by athletes and has became trendy in hip-hop culture. So trendy that they started doing deals with the rappers themselves. But just because it's a popular rapper and a popular company doesn't mean they come out with a popular shoe. Oh boy. Let's get to it. Here we go. Alright, come on. Keep it together. What First is up that? on the goddamn list, we got the Jay-Z S. Dot Carter Reeboks. What the fuck was you going through making these motherfucking niggas? How you gonna be the best rapper in the game with the worst feet in the game? These motherfuckers look physician authorized. Nas is better than Jay-Z. It look like you made these motherfuckers with Miff Bleak's album budget, nigga. Ooh. The type of shoes that your stepdaddy gets you for Christmas just to show that he's there to fuck your mama. I only had $33 and part of that was the condom budget. Hey, baby, come pick me up. My doctor's appointment's at 11.30. Looking at you. Oh, my. Jay-Z, if you don't get out here with these post-surgery cleats, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. And you gonna listen. Behavior like that is just hard young life. What movie? South Central OG Bobby South Johnson looking at you. I didn't laugh. Man, get the fuck out of here, man, with these high-top Rockefeller Heelys, nigga. You gotta skate at the bottom of Heelys. that Heelys. Nigga, get mad, take off running, and glide 23 feet in anger. Oh, my God. Yeah, and 50 Cent came out with some motherfucking g unit sneaking ah, by yes. Reebok. Man, shaped the same way Jay-Z shit was, like an all-white Mario bullet. That nigga 50 got some air hood respects. Because, you know, any nigga wearing these in the motherfucking hood is crazy in the motherfucker. You talk about them shits, that nigga go straight through your pockets. Oh, my shits is funny, huh, B? You, you like laughing at these, huh, B? Run that chain, nigga. Fuck's wrong with you. It's the shoe a substitute teacher wear when he got to go to an urban school for the day. What up, y'all? My name is Mr. Ryan. I graduated what in up, 2012 with a major in education. And if you turn to page three, you'll see I have on G-Units. Oh, I see you have your hand raised up. A lot of my there, friends Mr. had G units. Hold up, nigga. My name is Terry, nigga. The J is silent, nigga. Why are you in class with a G unit wife beat on? Now I want you to think long and hard about no how word. many homies you know that wore the G unit wife beaters and ain't looked at a gym in 10 years. Over looking like a bottle of hip hop Worcestershire sauce. Every nigga wearing one of these shy. bitches is in a midlife crisis. I know an OG wearing one. This nigga 56 and can't figure out why he's single. Ha. <sighs> Birdman. We talk about rappers with shoe deals and not bring up Birdman with the special lotion deal. That's what he means. If the design means was anything like Birdman's versus B, I understand exactly why the shoe is shaped like it is. So, Mr. Birdman, how would you like your shoe designed? Look here, Lambo with the Lexus leather in it. I got a bad bitch. She's in a Ferrari Spider, Yellow Diamond, Isis, 100. Ah! Man, these shoes Yo, he sound just like him on that part. City bus mufflers. Look at goddamn that. Goddamn Waffle House security guard boots. If you stomp twice, the bird will fly off that motherfucker and go and find help. Say, Woody, why you keep throwing paper at me? Oh, my bad. I thought them was trash. Woody. Looking at you. Nigga walk up in some all black bird mans. Look like he got two creepy kidnapper vans on his feet. Oh, my God. I mean, how I don't know if I can hold it together. These motherfuckers. Uh, here's the prescription for Lord Tap, and you have to wear these Birdmans for 12 to 6 weeks. <laughs> so on that shoe, thicker than delicious from Flavor Love. Come on, Birdman, with these Animal Planet Sumo Nikes, Oh, nigga. damn, he got me. I bet you to make a pair of these, you gotta kill four fake gators and dip the skin in cherry Kool-Aid. Birdman came out with these boots. I told myself I'd never buy some boots from a nigga who got 16 Spanish uh. Christmas ornaments tattooed on his head. I bet you if you drop him from a two-story building, you can crush a Buick. 
Russell had a 15 weeks. I got weeks. desperate and signed this rapping for a looking ass nigga. I didn't know he had a shoe deal. I bet you a total of 14 people bought these motherfuckers and two of them wouldn't Hurricane Chris. <laughs> Don't nobody want these patent leather cocoon looking ass shoes. Oh. I bet you put these motherfuckers on and start tiptoeing automatically like the floor is wet. <laughs> this nigga got beads in his braids. Yes. Hey, hey baby. Boy, motherfuckers is ugly. Hey, I bet you if you hooping these, you'll turn both shoulders smooth at the socket. These super duper high top ass shoes. <laughs> when you go to the court lacing these motherfuckers up, by the time you get done, this fourth quarter with 30 seconds left. Oh my Any god. Any nigga that wear these still make burnt CD mixtapes and label them shit like <laughs> Earl's Hot Mix 2016. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I done already laughed. I'm gonna have right fun now. now. Like, what are those? Yeah, these are the first are Yeezys those? ever made. First Kanye Yeezys. collabed with Louis Vuitton and made these motherfucking eclectic taxi gas pedal looking ass shoes. <laughs> The starting price for these was seven hundred and fifty dollars, bitch. If you don't do half a backflip and kill yourself, Kanye <laughs> killed the game with Nike. Shit broke up, and he came out with Adidas with these Yeezy boots. These I don't like Yeezys anyway, shoes. so this bitch, just looks like Adidas trash to me. three fifty for anything, nigga. One small step for man. Looking at shoes, these bitches look like a pair of winter socks with a sole on it. Same colors a country crock butter bowl. I can't lie, presentation is everything. In this picture, these motherfuckers look kind of fly. They kind of moon no. booty, but they work. Look like you can kick a nigga in his shin and make his mama need surgery, nigga. Yeah, you make good music, but I ain't spending 350 on some shoes that look like SpongeBob townhouses. Nigga got on some air washer and Kanye's dry plugs. music sucks Yeezys nowadays. With satellite and Yeezys with cable. See how these motherfuckers <laughs> look in person? If you don't get these dual cake batter bags off my feet, nigga. Cake batter my three bags. Nigga, try crossing by some of these, you're gonna tear your ACL, PCL, MCL, MTV, BET, and your VH1, nigga. Oh my god. Yo, what up, man? This your boy Starks. Hey, we done already did an awful rapper shoe deal roast part one. But this is so part two. I just put both the videos on. together. We need to do a part oh, two. Oh, <laughs> he got me. Let's Ooh, he got me. Starks, come on, dude. First up to bat, we got my nigga Nelly. Nobody knew he had a deal with Reebok, but he came out with these weak ass shoes. Never heard Nigga, of it. You know your shoe ain't shit if it's low cut and still got a strap on that bitch. With all that <laughs> unnecessary ass patent leather on the front of it. Nigga, shoe look like he got a car bra on that bitch. Pellet gun holster looking ass car shoes. Car bra. Nigga, Nelly got more fucking guidance counselor office paint on his shoes. Austin Powers looking ass shoes. <laughs> Them is some goddamn home economic teacher sneakers. Cash rules everything around me. Cream gets Wu the money. These shoes are weak as hell, y'all. Goddamn leather low cut daycare receptionist looking at shoes. Welcome to S and M childcare. How can I help you? Mm hmm. Looking at shoes. <laughs> these motherfuckers are ugly as hell. Look like as soon as you reach the retirement age, two days later, these motherfuckers arrive in the mail from Fingerhut. Hey, 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 young blood. Don't scratch my Cadillac up now. Looking at shoes. <laughs> these are the shoes that holiness women be wearing during non church hours. Praise his holy name. How you been, my brother? Nah, nigga, fuck all that. Is those Wu Tang felines? Oh my god. <laughs> they gonna curse at you I in bet the church. I just didn't know the Fat Joe had a shoe deal with Protege. Joe? I know niggas be coming out with whack mixtapes. Terror you know, Squad. Once you leave, you got to frisbee them motherfuckers out the window. That's the same thing you do when you get these motherfuckers for Christmas. Frisbee these motherfuckers right into the entertainment center. <laughs> bloop, bloop, looking at shoes. I kind of like How those. sell crack and then make some shoes that's going to be worn by people who smoke crack with these goddamn <laughs> air. I got these cheeseburgers, man. I got these cheeseburgers, man. You can kick man. a nigga knee right out the socket in these big bitches. <laughs> this concrete and cheese colorway. I just wanted to do something to represent my culture, cause I'm from the bricks and we getting this cheddar. Kelka. Oh, so y'all thought Master P was gonna get away with that bullshit deal he did with Convert. Never you heard of too it. Too fast and these bitches, the solar detached like the face on a Kenwood CD player, nigga. I know y'all remember these earth friendly duplex looking ass shoes. That's the sound it made in the factory every time one of these was done being made. Toddler learning toy looking ass shoes. I bet you it's a cow in heaven right now, like, nigga, I died for this. Nigga, fuck No Limit Records. You know, these motherfuckers go in court on a fast break and get a wrist injury. Like, nigga, how the fuck? Oh, I know a nigga better not ever come to the court and some people oh, jump off. Shit. Look at the quote talking about every game's about or here's the latest weapon. Nigga, please, you put these motherfuckers on, you're going to score negative 13 points at that bitch. Like, nigga, take these motherfuckers off, nigga, we losing. You step out in the corner of some of these motherfuckers, the ref automatically gonna blow the whistle like, beep, travel. Oh my God. <laughs> so the game did a deal with 310 Motors trying to bounce back from G Unit. Came out with these hey. fast games. Nigga, if you don't hurry, came the fuck up and get these shoes. I remember that face, commercial. I'm punt one of these bitches. He was like, nigga, these shoes look like an 800 milligram aspirin. <laughs> I save like it this. to my phone and I look at it every time I got a headache. 
like you can buy these bitches at Rite Aid. Let me get some Tylenol and some Hurricane Games. <laughs> Got you right now in America at TJ Maxx on Marshalls. It's a model I like and a video shoes. call with a son like, ooh, baby, I see these and they look good. And they only want $17 for them. I was going, hello, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> oh. why, you, why you got a heel on a book? Lugs, man. <laughs> This is for them butch dykes that got a girlfriend but still like dick every once in a while. Yeah. Any bitch to wear these pussy got to be trash. Like, is my dick in a garbage can? You buy this out the store, you get a suede <laughs> left knee brace and a tuba cherry Carmex for free with it, nigga. Dame Ooh. Dash linked up with pro kids and came out with this candy inspired shoe. The soles of the shoe smell like each individual candy. Nigga, I can't come up on the block smelling like Skittles. Are nigga. you serious? Is that if true? If you was a real nigga, you would have came out with some shit the niggas is really gonna eat. Like yams or vagina. Nigga, is that pussy? I got to give me some of those, dude. <laughs> Chitlin' pro kid wearing ass, nigga. So Soldier Boy on his second shoe deal came up with a new shoe called SBZ Lights, where the shoes have actual LED lights in the soles. Man, what the fuck? I saw Man, somebody in the club with these on. Emergency roadside assistance ass shoes out of her. Them goddamn fuck nigga moccasins. Them is the shoes that Bow Wow wore and be like Mike. You gotta take four ibuprofen before putting these motherfuckers on so you can be numb to everybody hurting your feelings. I saw these shoes. The shoes light up in different colors and different sequences, and that's pretty cool for somebody who don't have kids looking up to them or a reputation to uphold. <laughs> these goddamn shoes don't even have a fucking name on them besides SBZ Lights. You take that stick off the box and behind it it says Baptist Memorial Hospital. Bitches, these surgery booties? Stop. Goddamn Earl Laser Tag ass shoes. These are the type of shoes you wear when you come out to your family. Hey guys, I got an announcement. Nigga, we know you got on some damn SBZ Lights. Plus you smell like booty. <laughs> Bro, these shoes are so lame that you got to charge these motherfuckers up with a USB cord at night. Just stare at the picture. Take it in. He, he's charging up his shoes. <laughs> he said If this wasn't bad enough, Soldier Boy had another idea to where he was going to come out with a pair of shoes that had a screen on the side of them to play nothing but Soldier Boy videos. What? Nigga, you don't get these Eric Kidney Stone shoes out of here? Nigga got a flip phone screen on the side of that bitch. If you see a nigga wearing these motherfuckers in public, press charges on his ass for harassment. Oh my God. This video has been brought to you by Comedian Larry Starks. To see the rest of my videos, follow the hashtag StarksVids. And follow me on ChristianMingle.com under Larry Lord's Rod. Yo. Yo, Starks killed it, man. He killed it. Killed me. Awful Rapper Shoe Deal Part 1 and 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check out your boy Starks. His link will be in the description. All, his, all of his information. Uh, like I said, man, he's at 15,000 subscribers right now. Let's see if we can get him to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the week. Dude is funny, okay? He's funny. And I, him and Eric is pretty much the only people that can make me laugh. Um, I just got that weird kind of sense of humor. I don't know what it is, but yo, I almost spit up my drink. I mean, the shit was funny. <laughs> it was funny, man. He made a little Flintstones. That that little that little twinkle toes noise. <laughs> yo, that is crazy, dude. That is crazy. Uh, hey, look. <laughs> Come. We're going to be roasting some more subscribers this week. Go ahead and check it out probably in the next couple of days. Uh, make sure you also check out my Nerd Out music channel. I just put up a uh, The Division song. It's pretty sweet. It's already got about 30,000 views in the last couple of days. Check it Starks out. The dude is funny. Like I said, his link's going to be in the description. I laughed. I lost. You know, there it is. Holla back at your boy. Peace. <laughs> oh, my God.